Today I am showing you how to make the lead from Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. This is my version of it that you might have seen on my Instagram. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. Okay, so I have Ableton opened up here. The first thing we are going to do is set the BPM of Blinding Lights in our DAW. Uh, the BPM for Blinding Lights is 171 BPM. So let's set it to 171. And now I'm going to open Serum, which is already opened, with my preset for our blinding lights. Now, if you know anything about Serum, you probably will be able to remake the lead just by seeing this. But for those of you that are new to using Serum, I'm going to show you how to make it. So I'm going to start by playing in the melody so we can start from scratch. Let's go. All right, there we have the melody. So now let's duplicate this layer and initialize Serum to see what we have to do. So first off, if you open Serum, this is the initial preset. It already sounds a bit like um, the blinding lights lead. So I know that the blinding lights lead is based off a saw wave, but this sounds too low. So I'm going to set it an octave higher. This is not necessary, but it helps. And as you can see, it's already starting to sound a little bit closer. So next up, we are going to introduce new voices. I like to use seven voices for this lead because it sounds the closest to the actual song. And then we are going to decrease the tune knob to about 0.09. Let's see right there. And this already sounds a lot like the uh, Blinding Lights lead. The next thing that is apparent to me when listening to the song is that the lead has a little bit of a release to it. So we are going to up the release to, uh, let's say, 600 maybe. That's already starting to sound real close to the original song. So next up, when you listen to the song, you hear a little bit of noise going on every time a note is being played. So we are going to introduce some noise. For this lead in particular, I like to use the J106 high pass. And we're going to set the level to 0% and use an envelope to automate the level. So let's use a quick attack and set it to about 50%. So next up we can hear that there is a little bit of detuning going on. So we are going to add an LFO to the fine tune. Let's assign it and make it a really small value because we don't want it to be too detuned. So about two is good. And then we go and then I'm going to make the LFO a sine wave. And the last thing you want to do is set the rate to one second. Okay, so now for the effects, the first effect we are going to add is distortion. Let's use the basic tube distortion. Uh, let's leave this on the default settings. The drive can be at about 25%, so I'm going to set it to 25%. And the uh, mix is going to be all the way up. Okay, so the next effect is going to be compression. We are going to enable compression and turn up the threshold a little bit to about two o'clock. Then enable a little bit of, then uh, add a little bit of gain, about 12 to 13. 13 dB is going to be fine. And we are going to turn down the mix knob to about 20%. So that's fine. Okay, the second to last effect is going to be reverb. We are going to enable reverb and set it to plate. And then we are going to add a little bit of high cut, set it to about 50%, set the width to about 50%. And then we turn up the mix just a little bit to about 20, 20 to 25%. And the last effect is going to be an EQ and we're going to take out some of the lows. So just select the low a high pass filter here or a low cut, turn down a Q so it's about flat. And then you can reduce the frequency to where it sounds about right. So we're going to play the melody and play with the EQ. So what I like to do is I like to bring up the frequency a little bit too high so it sounds like there is almost no lows at all. And then we're going to bring it back. To where it sounds about right, so that's about there. 
And I'm also going to add a little bit of a boost in the highs. So this was it for the tutorial. The blinding light sleet is actually very simple to make as you see. So the final result is on my Instagram, but I'm also going to show you a clip right now. My name is Matt Flank, peace out.